Now that we made it into Photoshop, this is gonna be the same like way we did it last time. So what you wanna do is open the pack, hide this layer, the first layer basically. And I like the stuff on the background honestly. So let's go into the backgrounds and this time I'm actually gonna be choosing a different type of background. So what I would like to choose for this specific GFX is not GFX but PFP. I'm probably gonna try and use the the, the letter. I'll try and use the dots, they all look. And that is it to be honest. Yeah, I'm just gonna use both of these. Or at least try to. Then I'm gonna be going into add-ons. I'm gonna be using these, honestly not these dots. I'll use these dots just because we have a little bit more dots gonna move it into our uh, pop-up picture I'm gonna use the glow swipe move it on I'm gonna be using the dots burst and another thing I could honestly use is the white swirl maybe yeah, why not? I use the white swirl. Move this also. And when it comes to the 2D effects, I'm gonna be using the plus. So duplicate layer and move it on to our GFX. And here's the part where we organize the layers. So I'm gonna be turning everything that we got up here. And I'm just going to be dragging everything that has to do with the background down here. So first let's check how the Z looks. Not very satisfied. The dots I'm honestly satisfied with. So I'm going to be using this. Another thing I'm going to be adding is a, an actual background. So I'm going to be using a rectangular tool. Then this as the background. Making this blue. Just like this. And I'm going to be changing the color of these um, dots to the blue we're looking for. Maybe like this, yeah. Next thing I'm going to be doing is I can delete this V. I'm going to be enabling the dots. Actually, no. Let's focus on the background first. I'm going to be dragging down the glow swipe. Just like so. Changing the colors of it to this bluish, and I'm gonna be setting the background to a screen, and I'm gonna be setting this uh, behind the dots. So this adds a little bit of more highlight to our scene. Not seen but the effects. Next thing I'm gonna be doing is using the dots burst, putting this behind our character only, and I actually scale this up. Oh, I should yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna honestly put this behind the dot just so we can see the difference I'm gonna be adding the white swirl let's see how it looks behind the character behind the dots so I'm gonna add it below the dots burst and I'm gonna be lowering the the fill of it not opacity while also double clicking this and clicking color overlay and making sure this is fully white just because uh, the edges look a little bit of um, how do I even explain this <laughs> they basically look a little bit edgy not edgy but sh not sharp enough and I'm gonna be lowering the fill a bit just like so now I'm gonna be adding in the dots putting our blending mode into multiply dragging this a bit up making this much more wider like this but like mm, to be honest you know what I'm gonna go ahead and actually get rid of this just because I'm seeing this is not looking good for this specific GFX but I'm hoping for another GFX that looks much better and not this doodle 
I'm gonna be setting the saturation to zero. I don't know what I, why I even messed around with that. And making sure this is bluish. Now what I'm gonna be doing is moving this to the side, maybe up here. Scaling this down. Just like so. And just having it like going down. But behind our character, so I'm gonna group this together by clicking all the layers and clicking Ctrl plus G. I'm gonna open up the layer. I'm just gonna duplicate and move this down to where it looks random basically. Go ahead and move this also. And like this honestly looks nice. Go ahead and save our project. And this is it for the first part of like messing around with the background and stuff. One thing I do want to actually do is mess around with these um, uh, dots, <laughs> basically. And I'm going to be adding a basic, basically the color black, setting the blending mode to overlay, just so we can tell the difference. And I'm going to be grouping all of this together, like everything but the dots. Control plus G, Control plus J to duplicate this. Hiding the bottom, the bottom layer just so we have it for backup. Merging the group, and all I'm gonna be doing is blowing out the background a bit, just like this. Not too much. Now that we got that out out of the way, what I'm gonna be doing now is double clicking this empty layer of like our main character. Making sure our color overlay is set to white this time. Make sure our, our blending mode is set to overlay. I'm gonna add a stain. Making this um, gray, but not too white. You guys get the point. As you guys can see, it adds a little bit of more whiteness to our um, avatar. So before, after. And the blood, I don't, I don't recommend using just because it messes up sometimes. As you guys can see, like this corner, for example, doesn't look that good. But if you guys find this useful for you, you can go ahead and use this. But me personally, I don't like using it. Using it. And I'm gonna be adding a auto glow, bringing up the opacity, bringing up also the size, and I'll actually lower the opacity. Just like this, Ctrl plus S to basically save our project. Now I'm going to be creating a bottom layer below our main character and making sure our brush is set to white and star. Now I'm going to be clicking honestly just behind, so we have like this shiny highlight. Just like this, lower the opacity just a tiny bit so it's not too bright. And next thing I'm going to be doing is adding a layer on top of our main character, clicking it, clicking, uh, right clicking it, and making sure we select clipping mask. Now this is the same thing for the highlights, I'm just going to be um, painting around the edges of our character, so like this. So now it just affects our main character and not the background, just like so, like this. And we're just gonna walk through and see what looks good. So overlay, overlay looks good. All these other ones, no, they don't look good. I'm gonna be setting it to overlay. Just like so. Now, next thing I'm gonna be doing is selecting all of my layers, taking Control plus G to basically group them together. Control plus J to duplicate them. Hide this layer so we have it for backup. I'll even lock this so it doesn't be in the way. Now I'm clicking, gonna be merging this together. And just so that when we open camera bar, what I'm gonna be doing is selecting the rectangular tool and basically selecting everything. Control plus C and Control, uh, control C and Control V. You basically copy and paste this. I have this layer just for safety. And now we have this only like um, layer without the background. You'll see in a minute. So 
we're gonna go into filter this is for people who are photoshop obviously so camera bar filter now we're gonna be seeing the before and after so first thing i want to do is bring up the exposure and the contrast the highlights i might lower them a bit not even a tiny bit by a lot the shadows honestly want to bring them down not too much to where it's too dark the whiteness i might bring it up a tiny bit just because we lowered the highlights the blacks i don't like touching this much but hey clarity i'm gonna be bringing this up but not too much just because it adds a little bit of more contrast but i'll also lower the contrast to where it doesn't affect that much maybe below minus 15 yeah just because we missed the one with the clarity i'm gonna be bringing up the saturation I'm going to be bringing in the curve, lowering just this part, like the bottom part, you guys can see, going into details, adding sharpening, noise reduction, going into color mixer, my favorite part, going into the color blue, making sure our saturation is just brought up a tiny bit. Obviously, we also got the color aqua, so actually make this a little bit much more wider and i'll lower the saturation just a tiny bit we also got a little bit of uh, yellow slash gold going on so what i'll actually do is bring up the saturation for it too but not all the way just because i'm seeing this is affecting the skin and it will affect your scene too if your character is let's say for example white or basically orange is type tone so orange have it like this go ahead and go down go into optics go into i'm not trying i'm not gonna try and pronounce this again so <laughs> i'm gonna bring this up just so we have those like highlights on the side i'm gonna go into effects I'm gonna be adding a little bit more of this and this is it to be honest i'm not gonna mess around with this just because it's gonna add actually yes i am gonna play around with this this has done the job very very neat in my opinion and i'm gonna be pressing okay i'm gonna be like pff, pressing ctrl plus j to duplicate this again doing this again adding the bar the bottom layer uh -huh. And now what I'm going to be doing is converting this layer into a smart object by right clicking this. Convert to some smart object. Motion blur. And now we're going to be clicking this white box that popped up for us. And I'm just going to be tapping in parts that I don't want to be blurred. And another thing I want to go ahead and do. It's Ctrl plus J, hide this layer, pressurize layer style, go into filter, blur, this time we're going to be adding motion blur. But I don't want it to be too blurred, just like this. Now I'm going to be clicking this um, small icon right here, while enabling the other layer we had before. So now we're going to have the black brush selected. Making, making sure our floor is set to maybe 38, why not? And I'm just gonna be removing, gonna be removing parts so I don't want blood. So, this part is optional, you don't have to do this. I'm even gonna lower a bit the opacity just because. And before, after. If you guys don't like this blur, you don't have to add this. This is optional, obviously. And this is gonna be it for this tutorial. I hope I helped. You, I, <laughs> I hope I helped you guys actually achieve the lucky world kind of get. If not, 
dislike this video no i'm just kidding but yeah if you guys want to see another tutorial on how to create a profile picture if this tutorial was a bit messy let me know about joining our discord server and yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys next time peace out